Hello everyone, it's Lois. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine, also known as the clean girl makeup look. And this has been very highly requested, so I'm finally sitting down filming this for you guys. And this is a very easy and quick makeup routine. My personal favorite and go-to makeup look is something that's just very natural, glowy, and dewy on the skin. This has been my makeup routine for the past couple of years, and honestly it works for so many different occasions. This is the makeup that you see in pretty much all of my vlogs. It's what I wear out, also in my Instagram posts. So it's really versatile and super easy and quick. So hopefully this is helpful and let's just get right into it. I've already went ahead and prepped and did my skincare routine. I think this is super important for the foundation of a flawless makeup look, especially something that's very natural and dewy. So I've already done that. I like to start with concealer because the biggest thing I'm trying to cover are my dark circles. I pretty much just have dark circles on a day-to-day -day basis. They're always there whether I have good sleep or not. Today in particular, they're pretty bad because I didn't have the best sleep. But using this NARS Creamy Concealer, this is a famous one that many of you guys probably already know. And this is in the Creme Brulee. I love it because it has really good coverage, but also it doesn't cake or crease. So that's super important. Let me know if you guys have any other concealer recommendations for under eyes because I always come back to this one. It does the best covering them. So after concealing my under eyes, I'm going to use my everyday cushion. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I do not use foundation. I use cushion just because I find that it's just more natural and breathable for my skin. I use the Chanel Healthy Glow Gel Touch Cushion in the color N20. It also already has SPF 25, which is also nice. And it looks like this, and it comes with a little puff cushion. And what's great about it is that you can also just buy the refills. So I bought this a couple of years ago. When I use it all up, I just pop in a refill, and this is what it looks like. Just wanted to show you guys. But you can just buy the refill so that you don't have to buy the whole thing, which is more expensive. It comes with a new cushion as well as you just pop this off and you put it in here which is great super natural and glowy very similar to just like my skin I've always been into a more dewy glowy finish than something matte so I don't even put powder on my face either but look at this glow I get tons of questions about what foundation I use and it's just this amazing cushion and I love it so this is a great one and then moving on right into brows I actually don't do too much but I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the medium brown I'm just going to fill it in a little bit in the front and then as well as just the back I just follow my natural brow as well here. After I'm going to use the little brush and kind of gently and I'm done. And then I'm going to go straight into bronzer. This is the Too Cool Art Class by Rodin. It has the two different shades. I tend to use the two down here. So using the Zoeva Luxe Petite Face Finish in 111, I'm going to contour my face. And I don't really know too well with contouring, but I just shade the places that I see in YouTube videos as well. So, and then a little bit on forehead. And I'll also contour my nose for this. I don't really know if it makes a huge difference, but it's the thought that counts. So what I've seen is that they say to start here and kind of build. So I'm just gonna like that. And then just kind of gently rub onto that on the other side as well. And I think it just gives you a bit more of a nose bridge especially up here, as you guys can see. 
after doing that we're gonna move into eyes I actually currently have eyelash extensions but there are times when I also just prefer wearing mascara and so I'll show you guys the things that I use the first thing is this Shiseido eyelash curler and this is the best especially for Asian lashes they really curl and keep them up so this is what I use and then for mascara I go in with the kiss me long and curl black mascara and I recommend the long and curl over the volume and curl I feel like it really elongates your lashes keeps them up and the curls are just nicer with this one also I love that it isn't waterproof because with lots of other mascaras if I don't get waterproof my lashes will just droop down but this does the job so yeah don't need to do my lashes and then I don't wear eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis so moving straight on to eyeliner I'm using this kiss me smooth liquid eyeliner waterproof in a brown color and I like wearing brown eyeliner because I feel like it just gives a bit more of a softer look and I'll just do the wings like this as you guys see just at the end so again right here doesn't have to be perfect next is my favorite part highlighter this is probably my favorite out of everything I'm showing you guys it's the Mac highlighter in soft and gentle and I actually first found this in an YouTube video years back and her face was glowing after using this so I kind of go overboard with this. This is the Luxe Highlight Brush in 105. And such a pretty shimmer. It's so nice. And also put on the bridge of my nose a little bit. And I've also been putting it on my Cupid's bow. And I've actually tried a couple of different highlighters out, but I always come back to this one because it just has such a pretty shimmer. So this, it's like very subtle but adds a little touch and you'll see when the full makeup is done. And then I also like to sometimes put it on the inner corners of my eyes. And guys, we're pretty much almost done with the makeup look. Using this NARS Orgasm Blush, I just got a new one at the Sephora sale. But this is a really pretty pink. This is the Lux Cheek Finish Zoeva Brush in 126. And... You're like this gives a little life and for lip gloss I have two that I always use this first one is the NYX butter gloss made creme brulee and I've been and I've been using this since my college days super affordable like four five dollars and I just have multiple in a lot of my bags nice neutral kind of pink nudie color and my recent favorite is the MAC Love Nectar. I've already mentioned this in a bunch of my vlogs. It's a little bit more shimmery and sparkly. I'm gonna show you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. But as you guys can see, I feel like it just adds a little bit more glam than the other one. And it's so nice. I also bought a bunch of these because I found that they sell out quite quickly but really good lip gloss recommendation. And at the end, we're gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This will just set everything and make sure the makeup lasts for the day. And then I'll just kind of use my hands to air it out. And this is the everyday makeup routine. Super quick, takes me like five minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. I'll leave all the products down below in the description box. These are pretty much my holy grail, so I highly recommend them. And let me know down in the comments down below if you guys decide to try this out or tag me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!